Number 10. The Fantastic Four made their first appearance in The Fantastic Four, Number 1 which was published in November 1961 by Marvel Comics. The comic was created by writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby. The Fantastic Four's origin story revolves around four individuals who gain superpowers after being exposed to cosmic radiation during a scientific mission in space. The original members of the Fantastic Four are Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards the leader of the team. Reed Richards possesses the ability to stretch his body to incredible lengths and shapes, earning him the nickname, Mr. Fantastic. Invisible Woman, Susan Storm Richards, gains the power of invisibility and the ability to create force fields, allowing her to become the Invisible Woman. Human Torch, Johnny Storm gains the power of pyrokinesis, enabling him to control fire and fly, becoming the Human Torch. The Thing, Ben Grimm undergoes a physical transformation, becoming a rock-like creature with superhuman strength and durability. Together, they form the Fantastic Four, Earth's first superhero team, and use their powers to protect the world from various threats while exploring the depths of space and alternate dimensions. Number 9. The Fantastic Four Have Children Reed Richards and Susan Storm have two children named Franklin Richards and Valeria Richards. Franklin possesses vast reality-warping abilities, while Valeria is highly intelligent. They later became members of the Future Foundation, which focuses on exploring the unknown, pushing the boundaries of science, and protecting humanity from various threats. Number 8. In the 1978 Fantastic Four animated series, a robot named Herbie, humanoid experimental robot, B-type, integrated electronics, was introduced as a replacement for the Human Torch. This change was made due to concerns that the Human Torch character could encourage children to set themselves on fire. Number 7. The Baxter Building is a skyscraper located in Manhattan, New York City. It serves as the headquarters and residence of the Fantastic Four. The Baxter Building is a state-of-the-art facility equipped with advanced laboratories, technology, and living quarters for the Fantastic Four. It is known for its iconic design, including a number 4 on the exterior, representing the team's name. Within the Baxter Building, Mr. Fantastic's laboratory is located on the top floors, where he conducts scientific research and invents various gadgets and devices to aid the team in their superhero activities. The building also houses living spaces for each member of the Fantastic Four, as well as facilities for training and relaxation. Throughout the comics, the Baxter Building has been targeted by various supervillains due to its association with the Fantastic Four. Despite numerous attacks and incidents, it remains a symbol of the team's resilience and determination to protect the world from threats. Number 6. The character of Ben Grimm, also known as The Thing, was based on Jack Kirby, one of the co-creators of the Fantastic Four along with writer Stanley. Jack Kirby was known for his distinctive drawing style, his strong, physique, and cigar which served as inspiration for the design of the thing. Kirby's rough exterior and gruff demeanor were reflected in the character's personality, making him a beloved and iconic member of the Fantastic Four team. Number 5. Aside from the core members of the Fantastic Four, other superheroes have been associated with the team or have temporarily joined them on missions. Some of these characters include Black Panther, T'Challa as a longtime ally of the Fantastic Four. Black Panther has worked closely with the team on numerous occasions and has even temporarily joined them on missions. Spider-Man, Peter Parker Spider-Man has teamed up with the Fantastic Four on various occasions and he has occasionally filled in for members of the team when they were unavailable. Ant-Man, Scott Lang, the second hero to take on the mantle of Ant-Man, has worked alongside the Fantastic Four and has even been a temporary member of the team. She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters has served as a member of the Fantastic Four when one of the core members was unable to participate in missions. Power Man, Luke Cage has filled in for the thing on occasion and has worked with the Fantastic Four when his assistance was needed. Crystal, a member of the Inhuman Royal Family, Crystal has substituted for the Invisible Woman when Susan Storm was unavailable. Medusa. Like her fellow Inhuman Crystal, 
Medusa has filled in for the Invisible Woman on missions with the Fantastic Four. These are just a few examples of superheroes who have teamed up with or been associated with the Fantastic Four in Marvel Comics. The team has a long history of collaboration with other heroes in the Marvel Universe. Number 4. Each of the core members of the Fantastic Four has joined other superhero teams at various points in Marvel Comics history. Here are some examples. Mr. Fantastic. He has been a member of the Avengers, the Illuminati, and the Future Foundation, which he founded. Richards has also worked alongside other scientists and heroes in various team-ups and collaborations. Invisible Woman. Like her husband, Sue has been a member of the Avengers. She has also been a member of the Lady Liberators. Human Torch. Johnny has been a member of the Avengers, the Inhumans, and the Future Foundation. He has also teamed up with various groups and individuals throughout his superhero career. The Thing. Ben has been a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy and the New Avengers. He has also joined temporary alliances and teams formed to address specific threats. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number 3. The Fantastic Four was created as an answer to the Justice League of America which featured a team of superheroes including Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and others, was enjoying significant success. In response to the popularity of superhero team-up comics, particularly the success of the Justice League, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby collaborated to create their own superhero team with a more modern and relatable approach. The Fantastic Four was born out of this collaboration introducing a new dynamic to superhero storytelling by focusing on the interpersonal relationships and flaws of its characters, as well as their adventures. This fresh approach helped to distinguish the Fantastic Four from other superhero teams of the time and contributed to their lasting impact on comic book history. Number 2. The Fantastic Four, being one of Marvel Comics' most iconic superhero teams, have faced a wide array of villains over the years. Some of their most notable adversaries include Dr. Doom, Victor Von Doom, perhaps the Fantastic Four's most iconic foe. Dr. Doom is a brilliant scientist and sorcerer who rules the fictional nation of Latveria. He is driven by his desire for power and his hatred for Reed Richards. Galactus, a cosmic entity of immense power, Galactus is known as the Devourer of Worlds. He consumes the life energy of planets to sustain himself, posing a significant threat to Earth and the entire universe. Annihilus, the ruler of the negative zone. Annihilus is a powerful insectoid creature with ambitions of conquest. He frequently clashes with the Fantastic Four, seeking to expand his dominion into other realms. Mole Man, Harvey Elder, a disfigured and reclusive scientist. The Mole Man commands an army of subterranean creatures known as Moloids. He often schemes to conquer the surface world or seek revenge on those who mocked him in the past. Namor the Submariner While sometimes an ally, Namor has also been a formidable foe of the Fantastic Four. As the ruler of the underwater kingdom of Atlantis, he has clashed with the team over matters of sovereignty and personal vendettas. Puppet Master Philip Masters a skilled puppeteer and sculptor, the Puppet Master uses his talents to control others through his lifelike puppets. He has a personal grudge against the Fantastic Four, particularly the Thing. The Frightful Four This villainous team is essentially a dark mirror of the Fantastic Four, consisting of members like the Wizard, Medusa, when she was under his control, Sandman, and others who have joined at various times. These are just a few examples of the many villains the Fantastic Four have faced throughout their adventures in Marvel Comics. Number 1. The creation of the Fantastic Four in 1961 is widely regarded as a pivotal moment in the history of Marvel Comics and the superhero genre as a whole. The success of the Fantastic Four number 1 marked the beginning of what is often referred to as the Marvel Age of Comics. At the time, Marvel Comics, then known as Timely Comics, was struggling to compete with its main rival, DC Comics, which had experienced great success with its lineup of superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby's approach to storytelling with the Fantastic Four 
characterized by flawed and relatable characters, interpersonal conflicts, and a shared universe, revolutionized the industry. The Fantastic Four introduced a new level of realism and depth to superhero comics, paving the way for other iconic Marvel characters such as Spider-Man, the Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, and the X-Men, among others. The success of these characters helped Marvel Comics become a major player in the comic book industry and laid the foundation for the expansive Marvel Universe that continues to thrive today in various forms of media. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.